Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Edmond Mindaros and for today's quick tutorial and I'm going to show you guys on how to resolve new sound after installing or updating the Realtek driver if your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer has no sound after a Realtek driver update or installations you'll need to work your way through a quite a long list of different fixes to solve the problem however if you are lucky, you might be able to solve it using the first fix this guide. And without further ado, and let's go ahead. So all you have to do is to click on a search menu. And then here you need to type this control panel. And then you need to click open. And then once you open up, and then we need to modify by clicking this view by category and then click. And then you need to select this large icons to see all settings. And then once you open up, and then you need now to select these sounds and then click. And then pop up these sound settings. And then in the playback tab, ensure your Realtek audio device is set as default device. So here at select playback device below to modify its settings. So you need to check if your device is default device. So as you can see guys on my screen that my default device is my because I'm using a third party apps for my audio. So it's say it's default device. So check up this to audio if default device. But if not, the default right click your device and select set as default device. On how to do that, so select and then right click. And then you can see now at this option we have configure speakers, this disabled. And next, this is the set as default device. And then click. And next step, and then click here. Okay. All right. So once you're done here in control panel, and then we need to close. But if the error still persists, and the next solution that we're going to do is to run the audio troubleshooters. So all you have to do is to click again on a search menu. And then here you need to type this troubleshoot settings. And then you need to click open. And then once you open up here at troubleshoot settings, and on right side, and then you need now to select this additional troubleshooters and then click. And then here at additional troubleshooters at left side navigation pane. And under at get up and running. And then you need now to select this playing audio and then click. And next step, then you need now to click this run the troubleshooters. Then you need to wait to complete the initializing and diagnostic process. But as of now, I can't proceed this run troubleshooters. Because I'm using my third-party apps, maybe it will turn off my audio on my tutorials. So just follow the screen instructions about this. Click this Run Troubleshooters and proceed. And then after here, at Settings Troubleshooters. And then we need to close. And the other solutions that we're going to do is to verify the required services are running. On how to do that, click again on a search menu. And then here, type this Services. And then you need to click open. And then once you open up here at services and services local. And on right side and then we need to locate these two services. Windows Audio and Windows Audio Endpoint Builder. So locate both services and ensure their status is running. If stop, right click each service and click start. If disabled, double click the service, set startup type and automatic. So the first services that we need to modify is to find and locate this Windows Audio. So we need to scroll down and then select this Windows Audio services. So all you have to do is to select and then right click and then check if this services is already running or not. So since this services is already running, so all you have to do is to click only this, restart and then follow the screen instructions. And the other one is the Windows Audio Endpoint Builder. So same procedure. Select and then right click and then check if this services is already running or not. So since this services is already running, so all you have to do is to click only restart. But if this service is not running, so all you have to do is to select and double click. And then you need to modify. So here at general properties, startup type, select automatic. And then you can see the service status and then you need to tap this start and then after that then click apply and then click ok all right so that's it guys on how to fix no sound after installing or updating the realtek driver on windows 11 and thanks for watching and hopefully 
This video was helpful to resolve Windows error on your PC and give it a thumbs up and share it with others who are having problems with Windows. And if you're new to our channel, I invite you to subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on the latest for Windows Guide tutorials. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorials.